dear learners let's talk about the gm counter or radiation detector a geiger muller counter or gm counter is also known as geiger counter it is a radiation detection and measuring instrument we know in medical field or in nuclear reactors radioactive materials are used in high amount these radioactive elements are able to produce uh, radiations like alpha beta gamma into the environment at natural conditions the radiations emitted by these radioactive elements are harmful for the human body and they may create uh, several kinds of health hazards and therefore to measure uh, the uh, radioactive activity of the materials an extremely sensitive device is required so that safety measurements could be taken in 1928 geiger and muller have created a particle detector to measure ionizing radiations emitted by the radioactive elements uh, they have given that uh, instrument a name like geiger muller counter since its discovery the uh, it is found to be a most popular nuclear detectors uh, in the early stages of the nuclear physics development uh, basically it is a gas filled counter which is used for the particle detection let's see the construction of gm counter it is made up of thin metal tube inside a hollow metal housing this thin metal box served as a cathode as you may see in this diagram metal tube is served as a cathode ebonite plugs provide insulation for a tiny tungsten wire which is stretched along the axis of the tube this thin tungsten wire serves as the anode after the tube has been evacuated a mixture of 90% of the argon at 10 cm pressure and 10% of the ethanol is powered into it the negative terminal of this battery is connected to the metal tube and the fine tungsten wire is connected to the positive terminal via resistance r as you may see in the figure the direct current voltage is kept slightly less than that which will cause a discharge between the electrodes upon application of high amount of voltage to this cathode and anode there will be the electrical discharge at one end of the tube a thin window of mica is arranged uh, so that there will be the entry of radiations into the metal tube when radiations will enter into the metal tube they will ionize the argon gas due to the ionization of uh, of the argon gas positive and negative ions will get separated positive ions will go towards the cathode side negative ions will go towards the anode side due to that there will be generation of current that current is converted into the count with the help of this counter so basically this is the construction of gm counter the working principle of this gm tube is nothing but ionization of the radiations so gm tube is also termed as ionization detector as it works on the principle of ionization of the gas what is that ionization process ions are created as an ionizing particle travel through the gas in an ionizing chamber one or more at argon atoms will ionize when a high energy particle enters via the mica window the electrons and ions of the argon gas thus produces Uh, thus produced cause the other argon atoms to ionize in a cascade effect as a result there will be massive electrical discharge that causes a current pulse as each ionizing particle produces a pulse the number of incoming particles can be counted so how is the working let's see a metal thin wire in the center receives a voltage from the source which will be near about 400 volts a particle takes an electron from the argon atom when it enters the tube 
and avalanche is created as an electron rush towards the core of the wire knocking other electrons from argon atoms in the process as a result a single incoming particle will cause many electrons to reach the wire producing a pulse that may be measured and amplified so with respect to radiations there will be generation of pulses and that will be counted by the counter the characteristics of gm counter are like this characteristics are drawn with respect to applied voltage and generated radiation count if you see in this diagram at first there will not be much amount of increase in the count enough voltage should be applied to the tube in order to have working from it the tube does not function below a certain threshold at first the applied voltage is proportional to the number of pulses generated this region is termed as proportional region then there will come a moment where the count rate stays constant over a specific area if the applied voltage is raised higher this region is termed as geiger or plateau region the geiger muller operation takes place in this region only in plateau region only next to that the electric field is so strong beyond the plateau region that the tube experiences continuous discharge which causes the count rate to rise quickly it does not require any ionization event to happen so that the tube must not be used in this particular region so basically if you want to work with the gm counter then applying voltage in between the plateau region is required and therefore in order to calculate a optimal voltage of the gm counter we need to see where that plateau region is started where it ends and it's if you take average of that two voltage values you will get the optimal voltage of the gm counter gm counter is useful in various laboratories where there will be use of radioactive elements uh, it is also useful in the nuclear power plant where there will be the use of radioactive elements like uranium plutonium and as those are radioactive elements they emits the radiations into the environment at the same time in, in environmental radiation surveys uh, gm counter is found to be useful and uh, it is uh, a safety equipment which is used in the medical and industrial settings where uh, the use of uh, radioactive elements is must now uh, let's see what are the advantages uh, it is a simple and robust uh, counter as we have seen it is very sensitive to low levels of radiation so detection of radiations with ease is possible with gm counter it is very user friendly and it is easy to operate and the interpretation of the results is also a, a very easy task with gm counter at the same time uh, it is having certain kinds of disadvantages there uh, there will not be much amount of uh, discrimination in between the radiation types uh, dead time will be seen in between the two pulses and uh, energy resolution is limited in case of gm counter so this is all about the construction and working of gm counter if you are having any query post that queries in the comment box if you like the video click on the like button thank you for your patience listening